everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bright and today we are on the uh, Dead Rising SMP server. Now last time you guys saw me build this mine and since then I have done a little bit more building and on top of that there's still one more building that I need to build. We're going to do that in today's episode. Today is a building episode. I am sorry. Let's go see what we've built. So for the first build of this episode, we're gonna be building my little bedroom house. Um, I did an abandoned tree house. It's a little overgrown, has everything that we need for the style that we're going for. On this one, I also have an interior build. So let's roll the clip to those. So this is our bedroom house. This is where our bed is gonna be. Um, it's kind of a weird shape and I like it. It was weird because I had to try and get the tree to fit in the frame. 100% didn't, but there was that. Um, I ended up going with a stripped uh, dark oak, I think is what that is, uh, for the trimming of the house. But I do end up liking the way that this one turned out. Uh, it was kind of just a small, simple house and I put a tree in it. So there wasn't anything too special about it. Um, next is, the, th the fun part is, is that I did the interior and you should be seeing that. I added some vines on the outside, which you can see me jumping around, hopping around, putting those on the outside of the house. And then we should be going into the interior in just a second. The interior was cool because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get it all. And I did. Um, I just put some slabs and some regular plank, um, planks. And that was that. There's the house. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that clip. I know I sure did. I thought it was super fun. Um, filming this one was actually hilarious because I had to try and get and build the tree within frames. That one was amazing and it was cool because I did the interior part of it. And I didn't think that I was going to be able to do that because of the way that this house was um, shaped. So for the next build, you guys will be watching me build my chest house. And within the chest house, we have some redstone farms. So, without further ado, let's watch this. Okay, so you guys are watching me build the chest house. This one has the main building, a peak going off to the left side there, and it has a tower. So this uh, building has so much to it. This one took me about six or seven hours to actually build. Uh, I wasn't 100% keeping track. Um, also, the part of the me putting the roof on is just gone, so I just put it there and acted like I builded it. But it was just it was gone. I tried to find the footage and it was just it disappeared. Um, it's kind of weird because we live in a place where it snows but it rains, so there's bits that will have snow on it, and then there's some parts that won't. That's just how it is. The roof is spruce and dark oak logs the dark oak logs i stripped and i left the spruce the way it is just kind of make it look old and withered kind of um we used uh antisite and we used stone bricks cobblestone stone and mossy stone uh, mossy cobble as well for the build we also put in stairs to make it look like there is pieces cut out of the building and make it look old and rickety uh, I was just doing the top of the build there. You couldn't see it at all. Now we're doing the tower and the tower was so cool. I kind of did it layer by layer to see how that worked with the footage and I think it turned out great. And then you can see me doing the top of the tower here. I kind of made it spiky. Um, now we're doing the vines. I didn't use Minecraft vines. I used leaves because the build was just so big. I couldn't do that to myself. Oh look, zombie apocalypse is happening. That's why it goes foggy because of the zombie apocalypse. But yeah, we're just about done placing the leaves. Um, I kind of like the way it looked out. I think it looks a little chunky, but when you're actually on the server, it looks quite nice. So this was such a massive build that it took me six hours to fully complete with all of the stone and all of the um, granite and andesite and things I had to go find. On top of it, the roof is two different kinds of woods and I needed mossy cobble. So this build took me so long, but I'm so glad it did because this one turned out so good. I haven't done a big build like this in forever. And I love the fact that we used the leaves as vines coming down instead of using vines. 
However, I think on the tower bit, I will be adding some vines to give it a little bit more texture. Um, we'll be using real vines this time, but I'll do that off camera and we'll see how that works. So for the next build, we need to do our enchantment tower and our nether portal. So let's roll the clip to those. Okay, so now we're going to be building the enchantment tower. I'm going to crickety up my way here and remove some stone so that it all fits. It's still dangling off the side of the mountain a little bit. I haven't yet fixed that. But I thought it would be cool if I used more wood for this kind of build instead of using stone to kind of give it more variety throughout my piece of land. But um, I almost died so many times doing this tower because I didn't have enough food to eat because I've been focusing on building rather than, you know, having the actual lifestyle be good. Also, it starts to snow here in a second. You can't see anything. Like, you can't see nothing. I don't know why. Yeah, I didn't sleep sooner, but... Now I'm just building off the side. I had to uh, pop the one bit out of the side there because it just wasn't working out for an enchantment table. But here's the tower and I 100% didn't film me doing the nether portal. So here's that. All right guys, so we had such a busy day building and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. While we're off camera and we're traveling to the nether next episode, off camera I'm going to try and come up with a path design to fit in between all of these buildings to kind of connect them together and come up with some filler ideas as well. So let's uh, see what I come up with for that and we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys!